Well, I have a really great story today. I am at Nella Chestnut Farms with Bernardo Nella, and we're actually on the Neal Creek in Hood River. And you are the owner of this chestnut farm, and this is a beautiful chestnut. Yes, it is. Yeah. And now, what is the variety of this one? It's called a colossal uh, chestnut tree, and it's a hybrid from Japanese and European uh, trees. Well, it is just a really huge nut. And if you can kind of walk us through what the process is, it's like, I don't think I've ever seen a seed pod like this before. Yeah, a lot of people have never seen them. Um, sometimes they fall out of the tree just like you had it in your hand, but sometimes they'll fall out of the tree still in the burr. This one's opened up a little bit more. And the only way to get them out of the burr is to step on them. And you can step on the side of the burr, and then the chestnut will pop out and then you can pick it up. Because it looks really dangerous. They are very prickly. And they are I know really sharp. You had some really heavy gloves on earlier, and I yeah. can see why. Well, you know, I'm an Italian heritage, and at the holidays, we always roast these in the oven. And um, you have a tip for us. If we want to cook them this holiday season, they're available now, it's like you have to do something to them before you put them in the oven. Yes, you want to, um, I think it's called scoring the chestnut. So what you'll do is you'll pick up the chestnut, um, and with a, with a sharp paring knife, just put a small slot in it and then turn it and do another one. So you make a little X and uh, that's it. And as it's baking, it will peel back like that. Oh, okay. And that's the yellow part you want to eat. All right. And you know, you were saying that on your website that you have lots of recipes and tips like that. And the, the website is under a different name right now. Yes, it's Nutquacker Farms and it was the previous owner and I haven't changed it over, uh, put a new website up yet. Well, so. in the future, but right now we can go get great information because it's not just the Italians that eat them. There's many different uh, cultural groups that use chestnuts. Yeah, it's a very cultural thing. Um, the French make a dessert out of them called Marron Glacé. Mm. Um, most Asian cultures boil them, and uh, I've actually had them boiled as part of an Italian dish, oh. and then after they would saute it in like a sauce, mm -hmm and it would take a place of your potato, and it was very good. Ah. Well, there is, you know, a lot of uses for them, and I think this time of year we always have those Christmas carols about uh, vendors on the street corner, so maybe in the future we'll see some vendors in the Portland or Hood River area roasting your chestnuts. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Well, thank you so much for all the information, and if you need any other information, come out to Hood River. It's always a beautiful day out here, or go to the website to Nutcrackers. Well, thanks so much. No problem, Judy.